Hello everyone, welcome to Mercury in the third house of your chart. This video is good for you if Mercury is placed three houses away from your ascendant or indeed from your moon sign. It's also good for a western chart. Make sure you have equal house or sign for a house system. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below and let's begin. First of all, everyone, what is the third house in your chart? It's the house of ego development in the young child. That stage where the child demands what they want. They get a strong ego around the age of two. So it's the terrible twos, if you like, when there is all sorts of contention between siblings starting off and eventually cousins, local friends, etc. They say that if you want to see aggression in human society, look at a room full of toddlers. And indeed, the third house is closely linked to fighting, even verbal aggression sometimes. It's about conflict and getting what you want in the world. It represents, of course, the early conflicts we have with our siblings and all through life it represents in particular our younger siblings. The third house is everything to do with digital technology, software, ICT factors and everything that is about communication with the world at large, including the media. It's a house of skill, a skill particularly with the hands represented by this house. So musical talent, carpentry, cooking, artistic skills, sculpture, whatever it is, it's all shown in this house. And who is Mercury? Mercury in the Vedic system is known as Buddha. He is a son of Tara, but she was the wife of Jupiter and she had an affair with Chandra the moon. This was, however, described as a rape in actuality and coming about outside of marriage in this difficult way, he had to use all of his charm and his wit and his beauty to get into the good books of his stepfather, Jupiter. But Jupiter was kind to Mercury and gave him the most incredible knowledge of how to actually make things work in this material realm. Particularly, he gave him rulership over the earth element, including plants and nature. Mercury rules adaptability, travel, business, money dealings, the rational mind, intelligence, learning, dexterity and memory itself. Mercury has supreme organization skills. He rules language and all communication, both written and spoken. He is a karaka for friends in our chart and also for the sister. How does Mercury do for you in the third house? Well, there are many good factors because it's the natural house of Gemini, which is Mercury's own sign. But there is a struggle also, actually, because it's an Upachaya house. And benefics such as Mercury don't always do so well in these sort of houses. You must check, though, the sign of Mercury. He's so adaptable that the sign has the final say. Check out the karmas of Mercury in all signs. I will link below and at the end of the video. In addition, if you have Mercury retrograde in your chart, check below for the video Retrograde Planets, where I talk in some detail of Mercury retrograde. Mercury in the third house really attunes to Mercury's inner nature, his inner child. Don't forget, Mercury is the adolescent of the zodiac. Mercury becomes quite cheeky, quite witty, quite bright in here. There's a sort of eternal child in you with this Mercury third house. You're always curious, always learning, always wanting to find some new skill, do something new. You never lose this childlike spontaneity all of your life. Even in your 80s, 90s, you can have this about you. Mercury here makes you a fast learner. You pick up facts very, very quickly and your memory, if he's strong by sign and he's not too afflicted, will be absolutely excellent. You're very good at learning new skill base, anything to do with music, arts, anything to do with craftsmanship, cooking, DIY, all of this, you pick up skills very quickly. Third house is a house of media, of digital skills, software, etc. So you can have skills in all of these areas. You can be a superb communicator if Mercury's strong by sign and not too afflicted. You will have a great ability to hold an audience. You can be a writer also. You definitely have a way with words very often with this Mercury third house. Now, the third house is a house of ego and often quarrels, actually. So Mercury here, if he's alone, that's one thing. But if he has malefics with him, then the more planets actually in the third house, by the way, the more quarrels you get into. So Mercury can get himself into some mighty quarrelsome, contentious situations. And you love to argue sometimes if you have afflicted Mercury in this house. And it can cause you some trouble sometimes, but it definitely gets you noticed in society. You're not afraid to speak your mind. 
On the other hand, Mercury, however aspected, however placed here, will involve you in a lot of communication with your siblings, with your cousins, with your local neighborhood. There's almost so much going on with them. Their life always crosses over into your life. And once again, this can have both positive and negative effect. Sometimes, because Mercury represents sister, a younger sister can often have a very important influence on your life, again for positive or negative, depending on the aspect. Mercury in the third house can sometimes make some people a bit of a social butterfly, or at the very least, you like to be travelling, you like to be moving, you like the buzz of new places and new faces. Now, the seventh aspect of Mercury of desire is onto the ninth house. So at some time in your life, you could spend a lot of time abroad traveling. You love this. You love to explore foreign cultures. You have an eternal curiosity about different cultures, different religious systems. You like to pick up different language skills as well. And once again, Mercury third house can give you the ability to be multilingual in some cases. However, ninth house also represents higher education, and here it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Mercury aspect here, yes, your intellect is strong, your learning is strong, your memory is good. You can attack any subject and do really well, make really fast progress. But do you get bored? Do you get bored with the course? Do you get other interests outside of the course that take you away from your studies? Very often that can happen. So you have to try to increase focus with this Mercury aspect onto the ninth house. Now, because the ninth house represents gurus, teachers and mentors, Mercury makes you interested in finding a guru, finding some sort of academic teacher, leader, etc., who you can follow. You're very keen for that. Don't forget, Mercury is the adolescence. You want to follow, you want to learn. But if there is any malefic affliction, either in this third house or the ninth house, there can be contention because you're very critical, very dissecting, and you love to debate, but it can become negative and actually harm these very precious relationships. Exactly the same thing applies to your father because the ninth house represents the father. So whether you're male or female, Mercury aspecting ninth house, you are communicating with your father very, very intensely. What he says, his ideas, his belief systems influence you strongly and you're always debating, arguing sometimes if there is malefic influence with your father and it becomes a very pivotal relationship in your life. Once again, you have to see the Lord of the Ninth to see how this will ultimately be. On your screen right now, check out the karmas of Mercury by sign and also the meaning of a retrograde Mercury. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.